Hi guys, I'm Kami from the mamadiaries.com. So Zaris, I um, love your character as Maisie. She's such a strong lead female role and I think a lot of girls will look up to her. I love that. Um, what made you want to be part of this movie? Well, if I be honest, when I first, uh, I got the description of the film uh, in the email and it sounded really, really amazing. Um, I didn't know much about Maisie initially, but it's something that I, I discovered as we went on. And as we did go on, I became more and more proud to be a part of it. Um, and especially playing Maisie as well. She's such a strong character. Like you said, a lot of people will look up to her, a lot of young girls. And just having that in itself, it makes me really happy. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris, so I was wondering if you did any sort of research, you know, whether it be like piracy or mythology to prepare for the, the story. Yeah, we did a lot. <laughs> we really wanted the world to feel big and immersive and complete. And we wanted to feel like it had a history. And, and, and for this movie, more than anyone I've worked on in the past, the experience of being in the place was going to be a big part of the experience of watching the movie. Um, so we would, I would cite things like Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings or Blade Runner as, as movies that had a very, or, 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 or shows that had a sense of a really complete and realized world with a history. So that meant, that meant we had to know our stuff. And so we went to visit um, maritime museums and I got to, to tromp around on ships and pull on ropes and try to understand how they work. And our, and our teams got to understand how these ships function as far as the, the practicality of it, but also just how the crew functions, you know, the, the organism that is the ship and the crew together, how that all works. Um, and we had an amazing um, consultant in Gordon Lacko, who was the consultant on Master and Commander, which is cited as one of the most authentic representations of, of, of life at sea that's ever been on film. And, and so he, and he is very knowledgeable. So I could turn to him and ask him pretty much anything, you know, like, how the ships work or what the language would have been um uh the term things like terminology and 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 even sometimes the flavor of the dialogue he, he was helpful with um so we, we definitely i really wanted as i was making this movie i was like i want the people who love ships to feel like we got it right you know and uh so you want to hold yourself to the highest possible standard uh always thank you thank you thanks Amy. So Chris, you've created this, all these characters and everything. Do you have a favorite um, sea beast or a favorite character that you're able to relate to? <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I really was happy with how um, Red turned out from a pantomime perspective. You know, I, it's, it's, uh, we didn't want to anthropomorph, anthropomorphize Red too much. We didn't want to just make her behave like a human. And yet you needed to be able to understand how, what she was thinking and how she was feeling over the course of the story. And so I really like where we, th that even though the, the act that was sort of contained as far as an acting approach for Red, I think it was nice that people were able to really empathize and, and connect with her. Um, as far as the characters go, I always, I, to me, I'm always driven to a dynamic between two characters. Because the and no character is interesting just sitting in a room by themselves, right? It's so you're always thinking like how do how do these two characters how are they foils for each other? How do they bring out the best in each other? And so for me, the the dynamic between uh, Carl's character and Zaris's character, um, Jacob and Maisie, that was the thing. You know, like they had to be great together. And and the way that she pushes his buttons and the way she he's this big powerful guy, but she has him back on his heels right away really for the run of the movie he's he she's running circles around him and uh there's something very fun about that and i think very potent in the in the in the emotional connection that they that they form over the course of the story thank you thanks